I know you can see that. 4.35 a.m. Uh, I can't sleep because my son is pretty bad again. Probably won't be able to sleep tonight. But I'm uh, sorry for the lack of vlogs. I've been really tied up in the previous vlog so much that I have to skip it. But I'll come back to it. Um, that's my fault. But uh, I decided to take the next two vlogs and kind of combine them together. So there's going to be a break halfway through where I'm just like all of a sudden wearing a uh, Ralph Lauren jacket. So just understand that it's just the second part of the vlog. Have some fun. I uh, haven't been here in a, a year. No, not Jersey All Pro Show. I'll go more into detail about it, but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the last vlog. Sorry about the lies. I'm here with my buddy Jose. Say hello, people. It's okay. And uh, we're just gonna go into a, a place that I really don't like that much. Just waiting on a friend right now. So, give me some seconds. Play the smoothie. Only place I go when I want my fix for protein. Yeah. in New Jersey. Not my favorite. Deja vu. Intermission time. Uh, fun show so far, but the problem, no problem, seeing strippers at a show is kind of cool, that was fun, all the kids love that, right? Kids love strippers! Yeah, I, I do, I know I do. Do I? I do, I do, I do. I do. Back in New York, show was fun. We're gonna go to my, our favorite diner, just, uh, we haven't been here in a year. TikTok Diner, go there, it's awesome! That's why I don't drink. <laughs> this is one of the reasons. TikTok is still awesome. I think I'm taking that to go. Yeah, me too. Um, get up. <laughs> Smooth, it's good. Break a diet, but it's good. You gotta treat yourself sometimes, you know? Or as Selena says, uh, fill an emotional hole with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> lucky, you're lucky I love you to death. You're lucky. It's a good day. Uh, saw some good wrestling, some not so good wrestling, um, had some good food, and it was just nice to hang out with friends again. Uh, today's also officially everyone get shit faced day because everyone got shit faced. None of my crew, but um, everyone else in New York because once you hit 70 degrees, people take that as an excuse to, uh, to drink until they can't stand no more. Other than that, uh, let's bring back an old segment I haven't done in a while called Artists Occupying My Air Holes. First up will be MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. Um, I've been listening to this stuff for, uh, I would say since winter time. I kind of stumbled upon him when I was looking for like a new rapper, but I was kind of really tired of what was on the radio. Uh, MGK, he, what I like about him is his speed, his flow. It's really cool. He's got a different style to himself. A little arrogant, but he kind of backs it up. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about him. Uh, he did the performance at WrestleMania, but I was listening to his stuff before that. What you should really listen to is like his first album, which is just insane, just to show his talent, how different he was from everybody else. The second artist occupying my air holes would be um, The Weeknd. It's spelled really funny, but I guarantee you it's some of the best music you'll ever hear. Uh, he's a soulful singer, R&B artist from uh, Montreal, Canada, and he's just fucking amazing some of the best music I've ever heard and it really gets me through the day sometime. Last but not least is a band that I listen to over and over and over. I actually saw them live when I went to see Fist in the Tantrum. Listen to Fist in the Tantrum. They're my third favorite band ever. But uh, the band that I'm talking to right now, not talking to, talking about, is uh, Walk the Moon. Walk the Moon, just unbelievable rock. It's kind of trash pop, uh, rock pop, rocky kind of stuff. But it's really, really good. Um, Anna's Son has to be one of my favorite songs. Uh, Jenny is another great song they made. Uh, check it out. It's so good. They, if you listen to their music and you don't dance, then uh, check your pulse because you might be dead. That's all I can really say about that. So now it's a long trip home. Well, not a long trip. It's just a very annoying trip. Because after, uh, say, 11.30 or so, this way. After, say, 11.30, the trains just go on a, a level of, fuck it, I don't care anymore and they just show up when they want to show up. That sounds like a... Is that a train? Oh, uh, I have no idea. That was mine. Uh, 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 we're good, we're good. But yeah, 
good night. You know, not good night. That's a good vibe. But good night is it was a good night. I'm so good I had to take my hair out. I guess this would be the outro to the vlog. But uh, I am a little tired, but I know that by the time I get upstairs and into my bed, my insomnia is going to hit me pretty hard. I have insomnia, by the way, really bad insomnia, stress induced, but you know, I guess that just means I'm going to have time to edit. Oh my god. No, seriously, where did all of them come from? And those are just watching. So while I have you here, uh, not to make this a completely boring vlog, since I am attaching this to another vlog, um, or will be, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but um, here's two things that I've learned that uh, people don't talk about what you should never do to a girl. Um, number one is never, ever, 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 ever hang up on them. No matter how angry you are, or how idiotic the conversation is, or how pissed off you get, just don't do it. I've done that twice already, and it is just furious. Like, literally, when I see a girl, I immediately think she's gonna stab me. And that's like a little joke, just because, you know, I don't know the person that well. But, when I hung up on th these two chicks, I felt fearful in my life. Just don't ever hang up on a girl. Just don't do it. It's worse than calling them a cunt. It just, you can call her a, a cunty cunt cunt. And that is nowhere as bad as hanging up on them. And I mean that from the heart where I would get stabbed if I ever did that shit again. The second thing is uh, if interested in a girl, don't use the word wish. Um, wish is, uh, uh, from what I can see now, is a 60% kind of thing where you're not putting your all in. You always have to exchange the word wish for want. Uh, don't say, I wish I could see you, or I wish you were here. You say, I want to see you, I want you here, or something like that. Um, it sounds a little rapey. It's, I mean, I made up cunty, so I can make up rapey. And it sounds a little forceful, but you gotta use it that way, because when you say wish, I guess people don't understand it. Because, uh, you know, you could wish for a whole bunch of things. It doesn't mean you're gonna get it. So you have to be a little more forceful about it. So those are two things that I learned uh, when it comes to chicks. Don't hang up on them and don't wish for shit with them. Just do. I'm sorry, I'm observing the scene because Ralph Lauren jacket. Just just saying. Just say no one likes to get pooped on. No one. But that's why birds are the most gangstest people in the world. Well not people, the most gangster animal in the world are birds. Because no matter what, they take a shit on your car and you sometimes. Who else does that? If Crips and Bloods are taking shits on people, that'd be crazy! And for announcement's sake, um, a couple things. One is I've officially signed with uh, Indie Studios, so a lot of my vlogs, short films, and everything I do from here on out will have uh, the Indie Studio logo on it. Um, my own personal one, which is a red thumbprint, um, fingerprint. Well, that's my thumb. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. Um, I've been wanting to launch this project for a while. Well, not launch, but I've been with this project for a long time. And I'm happy that it's finally happening. Because, I mean, it's three years in the making, and I'm happy I'm, I got brought on board to be uh, one of the head writers and head filmmakers for it. I still don't think I'm that good of a writer or filmmaker. But, um, you know, they see something in me, and I'm going to take it. Because uh, come July, all these film opportunities that I am getting now is not going to happen anymore. Uh, I don't want to get too into that because that's more business related and it gets a little boring because that's all about papers and stuff. Um, also, uh, I am going to uh, Montreal and Quebec where I will be, uh, you know, using my français, uh, you know, c'était un pas boom, on film de my vais. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, Quebec and Montreal to, uh, that's what I to say by the way, for a, uh, one is a film premiere for the movie Safe, and the other one is just to kick back. Um, Montreal will be me alone, so that'll be interesting, so you guys are gonna have to keep me company. And uh, Quebec will be um, me, my kid sister, and uh, Catalina. I have to say her name like that because I don't feel right saying it any other way. And uh, we're all just gonna like, uh, you know, just chill in French district, 
Quebec and and just enjoy the food, the festivities, and catch a couple film festivals. So it should be should be cool. Um, yeah. Oh, also one more thing. Um, make sure to subscribe to two of my friends' channels as well as mine. But you got to check out uh, my buddy Hector Jackson. A lot of people think that I'm funny and that you know just because I did a little stand up and I write comedy and I do these vlogs that I put a lot of humor. No, Hector is way funnier than I am. He consistently makes me laugh on a daily basis. I'm happy to call him a friend. You should really check out his stuff. He's posting videos currently once a month, but I'm pretty sure he's going to start doing it maybe two to three times a month. I'm trying to get him to do that. And you just have to witness his comedy. He's just awesome. Also, check out um, Ursan. My, um, he's one of my acting buddies, one of my best friends for years. Uh, he has a channel that you can subscribe to, and you should check it out. He does um, a lot of cool dry humor skits. And um, I will be directing one episode, uh, especially one called Haters in Hats. Uh, check out his stuff. Uh, check out both their stuff. Subscribe to my stuff, hit the like button, and um, enjoy because we're just trying to make you laugh. It's happening. Duck again. They told me about this. I, I saw this movie. Uh, the black guy doesn't make it. Oh my god. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go.